Alrighty, so hold on, let me make sure you guys can hear me. All right, so this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at what energy is coming towards you. Um, and we're going to get straight into it. The way we're going to do this reading is going to be a little bit different than usual. This is going to be more of a four card spread. And how we're going to basically layer it, I'm going to pull a card from my Golden Girls Tarot, also a card from my Moonology deck, and then we're going to go into my Queen of the Moon Oracle to see just overall what is coming towards you, okay? So if you're new here, welcome. My name's Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. We do strictly tarot readings here, so if you would like to see more of my readings, make sure you subscribe. You hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with my future readings. And if you want a personal, um, we're going to have some really good specials going on for Black Friday. So make sure you subscribe to my website to get you that 50% off opportunity during Black Friday. Okay. Um, and that's going to be below. Now let's go ahead and get into the reading. Pisces, what's coming towards them for the remainder of November 2020? Okay. I see this was coming towards them for the rest of November twenty twenty. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first set of cards are going to be what you need to leave behind um, in the first half of November or what you needed to leave behind. Um, we have the adjustments are required card. We also have the two of swords. Put this right here. Um, let me see if I can brighten this up. Maybe it will brighten up on its own. But the second set of cards are going to be what you should bring as far as energy is concerned into the last half of November. We have the show the world the real you card. And we also have it clarified by the justice card. The third set of cards are going to be what challenges you may face in this last half of November. We have a time to give rather than take. We also have it clarified by the Four of Pentacles. And the last set of cards are going to be what the um, inner or how do I put this into words? What you can do to make the most out of this last half of November. There you go. And we have it clarified or the card we have here is the end of the. Why can't I talk? The end of a tough cycle approaches and then it's clarified by the sun card. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Jesus. Um, so getting into the first pile, this is the energy that you needed to leave behind in the first half of November. We have the adjustments are required card and two of swords. So really with this message, I'm really getting a sense that the energy you needed to leave behind was for one second guessing yourself. Some of you guys may have been really overthinking things or knowing exactly what you need to do to push yourself forward, but taking this approach of not really taking action as fast as you should have, um, or taking things as serious as you could have as well. Um, especially with the adjustments are required card in the two of swords. When I look at the two of swords, especially in the context of this reading, this woman has the truth. Like she knows the truth, especially with the two swords here. Um, so she, she has a balanced perspective, but it's a matter of her being blindfolded and not wanting to see things for what it is, especially when she has the tools to actually see things clearly. So for a lot of you, it's like certain adjustments you guys could have taken up, um, and, and needed to actually execute, but there may have been this energy of it being too difficult for you in regards to your relationship, like cutting a relationship off or getting to a resolution between you and your partner may have been something hard and difficult that you may have not been able to um, quite pinpoint as to how to do that. Um, there may have been this energy of you just internally not wanting to look at the reality and that could have been influencing it. 
But nonetheless, this is the energy I'm seeing. Now, the second set of cards are going to be what you need to bring as far as energy is concerned into the second half or the last half of the month. And I have show the world the real you in the justice card. So this is kind of straightforward with the show the world the real you. This is all about you showing your natural gifts, your natural talents, allowing yourself to be different as well or have a different um, way of approaching things than other people may because what works for you works for you. Um, this is also understanding as well that you guys need to stop repressing or suppressing who you are as an individual, whether it's, you know, you having different sexual preferences or um, you may be more spiritual then you may portray yourself to be, or you don't want people to know that you're spiritual and then try to use that against you in a bad sense. But spirit wants you to come out and, and be the real you. If you're somebody who, you know, is neglecting to take the time to be your best version, and you know that you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to live a life your way, but you may be living your life like how other people may be making you feel like you need to. That also may be a need for you to make an adjustment there as well. Um, with the justice card, this is also you guys having a balanced perspective in the second half um, and also understanding that certain things, certain relationships, people, places or things are karmic more than anything permanent. So understand the lesson of anything that may come up during this time frame as well so that you can see the full scope of what spirit is trying to teach you, okay? Um, all right, so the next set of cards are going to be what challenges you may face. Sorry about that. Um, we have the a time to give rather than take, and we also have the four of pinnacles. So Pisces, um, so with this energy, I actually feel like this is reverse um with the a time to give rather than take some of you guys have been giving way too much of yourself and there's a need for you to reanalyze who you've been giving to um as far as your energy time effort even money for some of you um and, and really get a a good understanding on whether or not certain individuals deserve that much from you um hmm also, with the Four of Pentacles, some of you guys may be holding on too tightly to, again, certain relationships, people, places, things that don't serve you anymore. And also, some of you guys, it's not even a situation of holding on to it per se. It's more of holding on to the experience and letting it basically put you in this weird state of being, okay? But yeah, and then for my... For my Pisces out there who aren't really that giving and you have people around you who, who do things for you constantly, it is good to give back. But for a lot of you, I feel like Pisces are really giving people anyways. So I don't think that you guys are having an issue with not giving. It's more of not receiving. And for some of you also, this may be more in regards to your relationship. Some of you guys may have stopped giving as much effort or energy to your relationship. And this card is saying that you need to open up and give more to your relationship as well. Or to your love life or give more energy to your, your um, crafts or your business that you're trying to build up or your career. Now, the last set of cards are going to be how you can make the most of the last half of the um, month of November, I almost said the year. Oh, uh, we have the sun card and we also have the card that says the end of a tough cycle approaches. So this is you guys taking the time to focus on your sense of happiness. That's how you can make the most out of the second half of November. Have fun. Um, make sure you're understanding as well that certain energies that have been removed, I can't even pick up the card, certain energies that have been removed out of your life 
were on purpose so that you can get to a place of being happy and content and also get in tune with what exactly would make you feel happy and content because a lot of times we think that we know but we really don't know and that's why we're unhappy because we don't have a sense of direction um so this is taking the time to be happy understand what happiness looks like for you and exactly what you would like to manifest okay and um and for a lot of you as well a lot of the tough cycles or lessons that you had to learn, you've already went through them. So I don't feel like this last half of November is going to be horrible for my Pisces, okay? But this is what I see. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you were able to take something from this reading. If you enjoyed, thumbs this video up. Um, if you want a personal, check out the description box, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one.